All right, it says solve. Now it looks like it's a completely unrelated question. So suddenly we got to trigonometry. Solve for theta between pi over 2 and pi. The equation 6 tan cubed theta plus 17 tan, squ tan squared theta plus 4 tan theta minus 12 equals 0. Now when you have a question which is part C of another question and it looks like it's totally unrelated, have a quick glimpse and see what the earlier part of the question was. I've got it over here. Okay, we had 6x cubed plus 17x squared plus 4x minus 12. And here we got 6 of something cubed plus 17 of something squared plus 4 of something minus 12. So this and this are practically the same thing. It's just that the x has become tan theta. So let me take this equation and solve it, make it equal to zero and solve it, and then replace what I get for x with tan theta. So you're gonna have this equal zero. Now we're, we're almost on the way of solving it because we've already factorized it in the last question. So you're gonna have two x plus three times three x minus two times x plus two equals zero. So this will give us x equals minus three over two and x equals two thirds and x equals minus two. Those are the three solutions to this equation. And as we can see here, x and tan theta are the same thing. So I can say tan of theta is equal to minus 3 over 2. And tan of theta is equal to 2 thirds. And the tan of theta is equal to minus 2. And we have to solve this equation for theta between pi over 2 and pi. So for, for values of theta between pi over 2 and pi. Just make sure the equal sign is not there. It doesn't really, I don't think it makes a difference in the answer, but it's not there here. It's just greater than there. Okay, so theta is greater than pi over 2 and less than pi. So we're going to solve this equation for these three. So we've got tan theta equals minus 3 over 2. Let's deal with that one. Okay, now, if I press inverse tan of minus 3 over 2, okay, it's going to give me an answer, which is... Okay, inverse tan of minus 3 over 2. Now, that's going to give me a negative answer, okay? Because we know that the tan uh, is positive in these two quadrants. And this is going to give the calculator, this is negative in these two quadrants. So the calculator just gave me this answer here. That's what the calculator gave the principal solution. Okay, so the, the, the answer that the calculator gave me is not one of our solutions, but I'll write it down because we'll use it to generate one of the solutions that we need. That's minus 9.827. Minus 9.827. Minus 0. Point, sorry, 0. 0.98. What did I say? 9 point. Minus 0. 0.98279. 982. Seven nine. I'll I'll leave it like that because we've got to do it to three SF. Just leave it to more than we need for now. Now that is not our solution. However, we can say that there's another angle which shares the same tan ratio as this in this quadrant where tan is also negative. And for tan, remember the angles repeat every one eighty degrees because it like makes a straight line where they're both negative and where they're both positive. So the other angle I need is going to be minus zero point nine eight. 279 plus pi so I take my angle and I add pi to it I add shift okay pi yes okay that gives me 2.15879 2.15879 so 2.15879 let's just make sure yep dot 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 continues on like that okay so that's one angle which we're going to round to 3SF, so it's 2.16, that's one of the angles, 2.16 radians, that's going to be the angle here, which is between pi over 2 and pi, okay, between pi over 2 and pi, remember pi, pi is like 3.142, so this is less than that, and a half of that is going to be 1.5 something, so it's between those two values, so it's in the right range. Then we have tan theta equals 2 thirds. Now if I try to solve this, what I'll find is, I'll get an angle which is acute. So if I say inverse tan, let's get rid of this, inverse tan of 
a 2 over 3. Now that gives me 0 0.58800. 0. So theta equals 0 0.58800. 0. Now that's going to be in this quadrant over here. Now, the other place where tan is positive is over here. Between pi over 2 and pi, which is, which is the region that we're concerned with, we're worried about this region right over here. Okay, this is the region that we're worried about. Okay, in this region, um, you know, there, there will not be an angle, which is the tan will always be negative in this region. It's positive in these two. So for this, there will be no solution in the region we need. Straight away, when we see this is positive two, two thirds, we could say that. And the final angle, tan theta equals minus two. Well, this will give a solution here because it's where tan theta is negative. But the angle is going to give us again an angle in this quadrant here. So the, tri the sorry, the calculator. So you're going to have inverse tan of, instead of two thirds, we're going to have inverse tan of two, negative two. And that gives us negative 1.0, negative 1.0174, negative 1.1. 07 negative 1.1078 okay 148 sorry 7148 sorry about that okay there's a one here okay now that is in this quadrant again so if we add pi to this we do minus 1.107148 plus pi it will give us an angle in this quadrant that we need so we just take our answer and we add pi to it so add pi equals and we get 2.0344 2.0344 so we want to round in the end our answers to three significant figures so we end up with theta is equal to 2.03 so this is three significant figures let's just make sure that's that's what they wanted yes three significant figures whoops no. don't cross that out okay three three significant figures that's how they wanted the answer to be expressed. So here we have the answers to this question part, question number three, part C. I hope that was clear and how you need to just try, sometimes keep your eyes open. Part C of a question, if it's something that looks a bit complicated, it's only worth two marks, actually. Um, you think, okay, hold on, maybe it's related to what came before, and then you can see very clearly that it is, and then you're like, you know, three quarters of the way in solving it because you already factorized that then you can just simply solve these equations to find the values of theta. Thank you very much for watching. If you would like to see more questions to, on this paper, the paper 2, um, P2 of January 2020, you'll find the playlist over here. I'm going to put a playlist over here to do with the factor theorem, a playlist over here somewhere to do with trigonometry, trig equations. You will be able to subscribe to my channel somewhere over here, hopefully. And I'll put a card up here which will take you to some other weird and wonderful place in P2. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.